The launch for Ready or Not was not perfect. Good, but not great. There's a lot of things to like about it, but there's also a lot of things that made me question why it even needed to come out of Early Access. If you want my full thoughts on it, I have a link to a video in the description. Check it out. But uh, yeah, so the reason why I brought that up is because a lot of people were asking for a roadmap during Ready or Not's launch, and Void Interactive has finally come out with one with their development briefing. So we're just going to go ahead and hop into this. It starts off with saying, attention officers, thank you for joining our 68th edition of our bi-weekly development briefing. This week, we're thrilled to bring you our public ready or not roadmap for 2024, highlighting future milestone developments to the game. Although we're unveiling this roadmap to solely cover 2024, we may have more plans that we're charting further out. Please do keep in mind that the content we'll show and discuss as a part of the roadmap is still subject to change. Game development is a fluid process, especially for a small indie team like us with this level of a project. So certain priorities and timelines may shift based on necessity. They have to include this line here because there have been several times when ready or not put something out and they either miss the fix or you know they just haven't included a whole lot of content that they said that they would include i mean i totally get that at first it used to piss me off but talking with a lot of game developers has really changed my mind because you know making a game is hard and trying to add everything that you want to add to it doesn't always work out so i totally get it but uh they go on to talk about their points of everything they want to discuss here and we're just going to run through them ongoing 1.0 bug fixing patches for winter 2024 with hot fix number four arriving shortly i've been hearing that the hot fixes have been fixing a lot of the problems with the game so far but i'm not sure if that's true i've not uh played it in a bit not gonna lie and the 1.1 update are planned for spring 2024 okay cool dlc 1 is currently named home invasion it will be free for the supporter edition owners as originally intended yay free stuff dlc 2 is planned for summer 2024 Okay, so we're going by seasons then? Interesting. The 1.2 update is planned for fall 2024. All of these DLCs are planned to come with free new weapons for the base game, one DLC exclusive player outfit, and new maps. The DLC will also be accompanied by bug fixes for the base game. Updates 1.1 and 1.2 will include additions, improvements, and bug fixes to the game. Very cool. And now we hop into the Ron Public Roadmap. As many of you may know, we have intentionally refrained from sharing public roadmaps in the past. Instead, we chose to operate on our own internal roadmaps that were best suited for fluctuating development schedules during early access. However, now that we're past 1.0, we can speak more assuredly about public timelines and milestones. This roadmap highlights the larger milestones on the horizon rather than projecting every possible patch that may occur. We use due diligence to account for as many seen and unseen variables as we could in the creation process of this public roadmap. But keep in mind that things are still subject to change. Without any further ado, here's our graphic laying out the 2024 RON public roadmap. And we got the image of this here. So this is winter. I keep thinking winter is like December, but uh, I forget that January through was it March? April. That's pretty wintry. We've got 1.0 bug fixes and improvements, which they've been patching it like crazy because of course they had the game felt rushed to a lot of people. And then spring 2024 is when they said that they wanted to launch their first DLC, which I feel like a DLC would be a lot bigger than just a map. So I'm hoping that they add a lot more and they're just teasing one map. Kind of like what they did with um, the last update, the last big one. They only teased like one or two, but there ended up being quite a few maps and a lot of revamps. That'd be awesome. And then we got summer 2024 where it says DLC 2 and it looks like they had a name here but they ended up blurring it out mm -hmm. interesting and then fall ready or not 1.2 which whatever that means i assume more bug fixes or they're gonna add something i don't know this is a very small roadmap there's not a whole lot here i was kind of hoping that they would explain a lot of the stuff that they want to do at least but you know it's a roadmap i guess people were asking for it i don't understand why when every roadmap that they normally done they never stuck to it but we'll see and maybe we'll actually get things on time but as game development goes you know you never know they say here that all dlcs come with three new weapons for the base game and one dlc exclusive player outfit disclaimer all dates and names are subject to change as for downloadable content our dlcs are both planned to be released with additional bug fixes to the core game including the roadmap footnotes aforementioned free new weapons for everyone added to the base game each of these dlcs will also include additional new maps. Meanwhile, the core purpose of updates 1.1 and 1.2 is to deliver further additions, improvements, and bug fixes to the game. During winter 2024, we've been focusing on delivering ongoing bugs and improvements for 1.0, with hotfix number 4 arriving shortly. In spring 2024, we aim to deliver both DLC 1 and the 1.1 update to the game. DLC 1 currently has a name Home Invasion and will be accompanied with bug fixes. This first DLC will be free for supporter edition owners of the game, as well 
was originally intended. Summer of 2024 is the planned time for launch of DLC 2, accompanied with bug fixes. Last but not least, Ready or Not's 1.2 update with additions, improvements, and bug fixes are slated for fall 2024. We'll share more specifics about the DLCs and these updates at later dates. In conclusion, this 2024 run roadmap brings with it four milestones, update 1.1 and 1.2, as well as DLC 1 and 2. Although the nature of development means the names and timing of milestones may not fully be permanent, the roadmap provides a good outline for the game's direction in 2024. Yeah, this roadmap seems very bare bones, but uh, yeah, cool. You know, it's just kind of like a preview more than, you know, telling us exactly what's there. So I guess we'll see what's coming up. Thank you all for coming out to watch. Hope you guys all enjoyed. Um, I've been absent on a lot of videos and that's simply because I just haven't felt like making them but you know uh, I do like making videos it's just I haven't like you know felt like it and like I have a lot that I want to make but you know it is what it is but thank you all for watching those who decided to stay and uh, yeah I'll catch you in the next one bye bye I would just like to take the time to thank my amazing supporters, starting with Fear Operative, Brigadier24, Divine Demigod, Hazel, True Forever, Iggy, Sean. If you would like to become a part of this list, be sure to hop into the membership or join the Patreon. Your support matters to me. Thank you all for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye